Good evening, everybody. I'm so excited to have an audience. I'm like, like so excited about this. So, all right, I'll bring it down a few notches. All right, so before I invite Evan and Quinlan to the microphone to introduce our first song this evening, I wanted to say a few words at this, our first choir concert of the school year. While our high school choir was fortunate to be able to sing last spring and perform a concert in May, our middle school choirs haven't performed publicly since the afternoon of March 16th, 2020. So for music education and performing ensembles of all kinds. Some of the students you'll hear tonight did not sing a single note in their choir or music class last school year. So it has been quite a challenge to try to get our voices back in shape and prepare our music for you this evening. Like any other group or team activity, it takes a lot of time, practice, and patience to learn music and get ready for a concert performance. So I hope you can appreciate and enjoy the songs that we've been working on since early September. I am so grateful that we've been able to sing this year. And as someone who has been involved in choral music education for over 25 years, I feel very strongly about how music enhances so many aspects of our lives. There are countless statistics about how music is beneficial to students in all aspects of education, how it helps develop language and reasoning skills, how it helps in intellectual and emotional development, how students who are involved in music score higher on standardized tests. But participating in music also provides an outlet for creativity and gives social opportunities for individuals to connect and cooperate in ways that are different from the typical classroom setting. Finding ways to connect with others seems even more important in this day and age as we become more and more solitary with our electronic devices. Being involved in musical ensembles helps us work together to create something bigger than ourselves and add beauty to our world. As ancient Greek philosopher and teacher Plato said, music gives a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. Thank you for encouraging your children to participate in music at Regis and for supporting them in all of the ways that you do. Good evening and welcome to Regis. Hold that button. Good evening, and welcome to Regis Middle School and High School's Fall Concert. My name is Evan. And my name is Quinlan, and we are members of the 6th grade choir. Tonight you will be hearing the 6th grade choir, the 7th and 8th grade choir, and the high school choir. The 6th grade choir's first song, the song that nature sings, speaks to the beauty and music that we can find in nature if we just open our hearts and hear it. The soloist for this song is Amaya Hairston, and our wonderful accompanist for all of our choirs tonight is Miss Liz Wilson. In everything there is beauty, a hint of love, a form of grace. Though it may be hard to see, even harder to believe, everything in nature has its place. Oh uh -huh. 
My name is Adeline. And my name is Lilibeth, and we are in the sixth grade choir. Our final song for you this evening is a traditional spiritual whose title refers of the happiness of going to heaven. It's an exclamation of joy. The verses of the song tell the story of Adam and Eve, and it modulates from a major key to a minor key in the middle of the song when referring to the temptation in the Garden of Eden. It ends on a joyous note, and we hope you enjoy hearing it as much as we enjoy singing it. While the sixth graders leaving the stage, I had the students this year um, for middle school, I had them write a couple of sentences on what they liked about each of the songs that we're doing. And I'm going to read you a couple things that the sixth graders said about the songs you just heard, and a few things about the seventh and eighth graders said about songs they have coming up too. So right now, seventh and eighth grade choir, let's stand up, and we know what to do. There we go. Okay. So with the first song you heard, the song that nature sings, some of the things that the students commented on were they thought that the lyrics and the piano were beautiful together. They liked the lyrics, in everything there is beauty because God's creation is beautiful. The song is nice and calming. It's peaceful and pretty. And one student said that they like that it's in unison because they love singing with the whole choir on the same part that they're doing. With the song you just heard, Them Bones Gonna Rise Again, some students said they liked it because it's fast and catchy. That's one, that one's also about God's creation. It's fun and it's a little bit of a challenge to sing. And one person said, I think it'll make people feel happy to hear it. So some good comments about the first songs. I'm gonna grab my other sheet. I didn't bring it with me here, so my seventh and eighth grade choir sheet, I'll read a couple of those too. So now you haven't heard these songs yet, so this will give you something to listen for then, right? The first one you're going to hear is called Come to Me, Oh My Love. 
Some students say that it's fun to sing. It's a cheerful song. One student, or maybe actually a couple of students, said, I like hitting the high notes. There's some high notes in it. Newsflash, right? Um, I like the harmonizing and the piano accompaniment. Liz Wilson, pretty awesome. And another student said, I really like the lyrics. So you can listen carefully for the lyrics. See how well they um, enunciate their, their words for you here. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to call down our first song introducer, and that's Justice. My name is Justice Tate, and our 7th and 8th grade choir will be singing three songs for you this evening. Our first is a fun, catchy tune that weaves five different melodies throughout the song. While the melodies are all unique, they fit together well when sung together. We hope you enjoy Come to Me With My Love by Ellen Robert Butker. My name is Adriana, and I'm in the 7th and 8th grade choir. Our next song this evening is an early 19th century American folk and gospel song, thought to have originated in the Appalachian Mountains. It is a song that has been sung by countless singers in musical groups, including Burl Ives in the 1940s, Emmy Lou Harris in the 1980s, Johnny Cash in the early 2000s, and Ed Sheeran in 2011. The, net, the text was refers to hardships that we endure in our lives on our journey to heaven. Our soloists this evening are eighth graders Jackson Bauer and Porter Sparks.
just a poor wayfaring stranger a traveling through this world of woe but there's no sickness tongue or danger in that bright world to which I go of things about the song you just heard, Wayfaring Stranger. Some students said they like the story that the song tells. The lyrics are nice and calming. The song taught me how to sing crescendos. That's good. Good musical term, right? I like the harmony part that part two gets to sing. You may have heard some two, two different things happening there in most of the song, right? And some people said they like the round or the echo part that happened. For the song coming up, our last song, this song is fun and joyful to sing. It is fast-paced and upbeat. It's fun to sing only solfege for lyrics. You'll hear all about that when Sasha gives her little opening introduction for it. This song gets stuck in my head. It might get stuck in yours too, who knows? And I think my, one of my favorite ones is, um, this. it makes me happy when I sing it. Me too, love it. My name is Sasha, and I am a seventh grade student in the choir. Our final song this evening is not in a foreign language, but it might sound foreign to you if you are not familiar with solfege. Solfege is the singing of the syllables. Do, me, do, me, do re mi fa sol la ti, which were made even more famous by the song Do re mi sung by Julie Andrews in the popular musical The Sound of Music. Our version uses all solfege syllables instead of words to create different styles of singing. It almost sounds like a song that an orchestra would play and includes many different dynamics and tempos. We have enjoyed learning this song and we hope you enjoy hearing it. Gallop from Solfege Suite by Ken Berg. Sasa, 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 sasa
Good evening and welcome to the high school choir's portion of the concert. My name is Kendall Alexander and I am a senior member of the choir. Our first song this evening is a beautiful setting of Emily Dickinson's poem, Hope is the Thing with Feathers, composed by Susan Labar. Written in 1861, the poem describes how hope stays alive within us, resilient and ever-present, despite all of our troubles. Dickinson uses the image of an ever-singing small bird against a storm to convey this message. The beauty and imagery of the text match with Labar's intricate harmonies and singable melodies have made this one of our favorite songs to sing. It has become all the more meaningful given the many challenges that our world has faced over the past 19 months. As Dickinson once said, hope resides in the heart for good 
It liberates us from despair and gives us strength to move on. My name is Leela Shu, and I am a senior member of the choir. Our second song this evening is from a set of three anonymous Irish love songs. Tonight, we are singing the third song in the set, entitled Green Grows the Laurel. The text describes a young woman who once had true love, but is now loving him, despite the pain he has caused. In Irish folklore, the green laurel, which can stand for young love or fickleness, is also a symbol of faithfulness. In the beginning, we will sing the opening motive a cappella, or without accompaniment. As the song progresses, the piano accompaniment, played so beautifully by Miss Wilson, grows in intensity, as do the harmonies sung by the choir, and eventually, the song ends as it began. 
with a simple, unaccompanied melody. We hope you enjoy Green Grows the Laurel.
My name is McKenna Peterson, and I am a senior member of the choir. Our final song this evening is a joyful and energetic piece by Chicago composer Keith Hampton. Hampton is a conductor, composer, 30th anniversary of the singing group Voices of Melody. This gospel song has a great message of using our voices to praise God. You will notice that it incorporates text from the church hymn Amazing Grace, but it is set to a completely different melody from the original hymn tune. Senior Bella Larson will be featured singing a descant near the end of the song. Thank you for coming to our fall concert and for encouraging and supporting your students who participate in music at Regis. The next concert at Regis will be the Middle and High School Band co Christmas Concert on December 6th at 7 p.m., and the choirs will be performing our Christmas concert a week later on December 13th. We look forward to seeing you at our upcoming concerts. Hallelujah, Lord, praise His holy name. 